Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to get a MariaDB Galera cluster running on CentOS 8 machines. So, let's get started. You can see in front of me right now, I have two separate screens. Well, one terminal split in two. Top one is my master node. Bottom one is my slave node. Both of these are running CentOS 8. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install the MariaDB server Galera uh, package. Now we're on CentOS 8, so we're not going to use yum anymore. We're going to use a nice new DNF. So, sudo DNF with the Y flag, install MariaDB server Galera, please. We'll wait for that to finish. And once it is, We'll just copy the command onto the bottom rather than type it out again. Save a bit of time. I'll just copy that now. Cool, got both going right now. So uh, I'll, I'll pause the uh, video and we'll come back when that's all done. Awesome, that's all installed. So let's clear both screens and a nice easy workspace. Now, as I said, the top one is the master, bottom one is the slave. So we're going to configure the master node first. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into the Galera config file. This is located in etc. my.cnf.d and galera.cnf. So the first thing we're going to search for is wsrep cluster name. Now to be honest, I'm probably just going to leave this as it is really um, and we'll move straight down onto the WS rep cluster address this comes preloaded with dummy colon slash slash however we're going to change this to gcom colon slash slash then we're going to go down here to WS rep node address and this is going to be the IP address in quotations of my master node now I'm a fool didn't note it down. However, knowing DHCP on Vagrant, I know that it will be one address before my slave. So that's 172.28.128.143. Close. Cool. That's that. Save and exit. Clear my screen because I've got issues with that. Now I'm going to go straight into starting the Galera new cluster script. This will take a bit of a time, so don't worry, it's not hanging, but just bear with it. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, it was a bit worse at work. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna enable MariaDB. So, sudo system ctl, enable, now MariaDB. Awesome, that's all enabled and started. Then I'm just going to go ahead and carry out my MySQL secure installation. Very straightforward. There's currently no root password. I do want to set one. That's all set. Do I want to remove anonymous users? Yes. Disallow remote logins? Yes. Remove test databases? Yes. Reload privileges? Yes. All done. Cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap down to my slave. I am going to, however, just copy this because I know I'm going to need it. And I'm going to jump into the config file that I was editing previously on the master. So that's in etc. myconf.d galera.conf. Same things here, but a fraction different. The cluster name is the same, so we don't need to bother about that. However, the cluster address for this one will be gcom, same as before. However, this time, we're going to add IPs to it. So that's this IP. I'll just add this. So here I've got the master and the slave's IP. Master first, slave second. And then I also need to go down 
and set the node address, which is commented out currently. Uncomment that. Oh, my bad. Head to the end, double quotations again, remember. Paste. Save and exit. Awesome. What I'm going to do now is enable. We've got a little now flag to enable it and start it now. MariaDB. Remember, it wasn't previously started, so you can see it's enabled it and now it's starting it. Awesome. Now, believe it or not, that's it done. You just can't see it yet. So, we'll jump up to the master. What we're going to do is we're going to log in as root using a password to MySQL. Once we're in here, we're going to show the status of WS rep. What you can see here, it's synced, primary, and there's two in the cluster. Awesome. We can do the same thing on the slave. So we'll log in as root of a password. Nope, I didn't set any of this up on slave. So that's proof enough that it's working. And I will show the status like and again it's exactly the same however this isn't proving much to you is it what we really need to do to prove it is create a database add a table add some data on the master and see if we can see it on the slave so let's do that now let's create a database and we'll call it kitchen cool let's create a table within this kitchen called stuff because I'm terrible ID int not no auto oh my bad Increment Okay, type of stuff Character no more than 20 Quantity of said character and Brand brand of thing oh. No more than 20 My mistake, idiot. Cool. Now let's add something to it. Insert into kitchen.stuff. Remember, we have type, quantity, and brand. We're going to add the values of knife. 15 of them. And their brand is uh, pff, sharp knife. Cool. Now let's not even check here. Let's go straight onto here and do select all from kitchen dot stuff. Boom. There you go. As easy as that. So you can see that immediately. Anything that I've updated on the master has immediately replicated onto the slave. And what's good, but might not be necessarily what you want, is you can also read, uh, sorry, you can also write from the slave and read uh, from the master. So I'll just show you that quickly. So nice and fast. Uh, insert into kitchen.stuff. Type quant brand. 
the values of fork, five of them, and their brand is Stabby, Stabby Forks. Cool. Back on the master, if we select all from, if I can type, all from kitchen stuff, you can now see we've got the uh, five Stabby Forks. So personally, I think this is uh, pretty straightforward. Obviously, there's a ton more settings and things that you can do with Galera. This is just very bare bones. How to get a little cluster working on CentOS 8 using MariaDB Galera. So hopefully that you, you've took something away from this at least. You know, if I've got anything wrong or you think maybe you want to see something else, then uh, reach down to me in the comments. Leave a like. If you want to see more and keep updated with me, you know, I'm trying to do bits every now and then. Bit of vlogs, bit of little tech tutorials, whatever I can do really to help share the wealth. Then uh, hit that subscribe button, okay guys? And I'll catch you next time.